summer squash. This is one of my favorite veggies. You can have summer squash in many different ways, grilled on the grill, fried, stir fried in your you know, frying pan, or just baked with cheese. There's so many ways of eating summer squash, actually any type of squash, but these are so soft and delicious. So let's talk about some tips on how to grow summer squash. Welcome to Self-Sufficient Urban Gardening. Let's start with the seeds. So these are the seeds that I got for summer squash. And this is early summer crookneck. And uh, let me show you how the seed seeds look. They look like this. They're just very similar to any other uh, squash seed. Now, the good thing about squash seeds is that they really grow so easily without any specific environment. If it's too moist, not as, or not as much, or if it's you know a little bit dry, they will grow okay. As long as they have a little bit of water and uh, they will grow in the summer as the name says. But right now I'm growing it in the fall. So we are here in uh, November and you can see I have summer squash growing and they're growing pretty well as long as you have enough sun during the day in this area here on my garden I have sun probably for about five hours maybe four or five hours uh, per day and it's growing pretty nicely in November in Southern California so as long as you have a little bit of warmth during the day they will grow these guys here, they don't need a lot of uh, nutrients to start, but of course, as you transplant your little seedling into your garden, then you might want to have a nice and uh, nourished with lots of nutrients in your soil. Then your squash is going to grow well. Summer squash, as many other types of squash, um, their leaves, they can get some disease. As you can see here, I have leaves that are starting to get some spots here and some leaves that are pretty much diseased. So these ones here, we should definitely take them out, especially because the plant has so many of these leaves. As you can see here, I have plenty and each one of these is so big and so large that it will absorb a lot of the energy of the sun so I don't really have to worry about just one leaf uh, having been cut off and the plant, plant have enough energy because there's so much area that they cover because the leaves are so big that you can just clip a few and it will be okay. So I'll cl clip this one out here too. Actually you should clip also the, the stem here because you can see there's some spots here. This is already diseased. I'm gonna clip this one a little bit closer here so we can get rid of the disease. And yes, the other leaves are also going to start spotting, but the plant is still growing, it's still producing. So this is uh, good enough for now. Once I get spots on the top leaves here, I'll clip them off and hopefully more leaves will grow to give the plant more energy to continue producing. Another tip for growing summer squash is that as you can see here, I have one that is really basically ready to be harvested. Uh, but I have lots of little ones here that are just starting. And some of them, as you can see, they uh, did not get pollinated. So these guys here, they're black like this at the top where the flower was and they did not get pollinated. So one thing that you can do is to pollinate it yourself. If you don't have bees, like we don't have as many bees now in November, but we can pollinate ourselves by just looking at the male flowers like this one here. 
and we can pollinate with your fingers or with a q-tip so you just get some of the pollen and uh, just rub it on the female plants and then you get more um, pollinated uh, fruit so you can get more squash so the difference between the male flower and the female flower is basically on the stem you can see this one here the stem of this flower is just long and the flower comes out and then you can see in there you have the male flower and the pollen is in there so that's where you can rub your fingers and get some of the pollen you can see a lot of that on my finger right there and you can rub this on the female flowers that look like this you can see this one here is a female flower you see the stem it's kind of looking like the fruit already so but this flower here is not open uh, when it does open usually in the morning when the sun is up uh, morning the flowers are definitely open in the afternoon they usually close now I don't have other open female flowers here to show you but you can definitely see that many of my uh, squashes did not get pollinated like that one like this one down here but a couple of them did get pollinated so you can see one big one growing there there and there so this is how the female plant looks inside very very different from the male plant you can see the stem is basically the the squash starting to grow and inside you can see it's several little uh, things that you can pollinate with the pollen that you get with a q-tip or even with your fingers so now the next tip is when should I harvest well you can harvest your summer squash when they're still a little bit small and if you do that they're gonna be very very soft and tender uh, but you can choose to leave them to grow a little bit more and become like this one here that I'm gonna harvest right now so this one here look at the size of this pretty good size it's not gigantic but it's a pretty decent size will be a very nice meal um, some squashes can grow much more than this I even have pictures of different types of squashes like zucchini that can grow way bigger than this uh, but even this type of squash can grow maybe uh, one one and a half times this even maybe twi two, twice this size it is possible depending on the quality of your soil the soil that I have here uh, I'm still composting so it's a process that I'm doing and I don't really put anything outside of my compost so this is pure compost from my from my house uh, so it's not like the soil is you know super uh, duper uh, vitamin efficient yet uh, there is still a lot to to do to my soil but this is pretty good for a free soil free of any pesticides or anything uh, else that you have to buy so this is pretty good size for a very uh, easy to grow soil here now if you wait too long and it grows bigger uh, the skin may get hard so in that case you can peel the skin off and just eat the inside which will be still very soft and tender uh, especially if you cook it so waiting longer for it to grow is worth it if you're not really uh, if you don't really want to eat the skin but if you do want to eat the skin then you should harvest it a little bit earlier here I can tell that the skin is a little bit soft it gives a little bit so we'll definitely eat this one with the skin and everything all right, so the next tip is about pests. As you can probably see here in this leaf, there is one little black spot there, a couple here, and a few over there. So these aphids can definitely attack your plants. They don't do much damage, by the way, but it's, e it's really easy to control them. I usually just spray water and they just <laughs> go away for a day or two and then they come back and I spray water again. So I just use that water to water the soil around and to keep the aphids controlled so that population doesn't grow as quickly. They do attack the squashes themselves and the 
uh, the flowers so that you need to be a little bit more careful because if you splash too hard the flowers then you're gonna damage them or they're not gonna be well pollinated so careful with that I don't really like using pesticides or even oils uh, I just spray water and I have pretty good control of that I hope you like this video. Let me know if you also like summer squash or zucchini squash or any type of squash in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and enjoy your garden.